so a draw nil but in some ways obviously them equalising right at the death does it feel like a defeat certainly not uh, Chris no not in not in my eyes good uh, the players are despondent mm. disappointed and uh, which I think shows how far we've come in a short space of time when they're uh, disappointed to come away with a draw against a, a good clever old team uh, it is uh, pleasing for me to see that, but I'm I'm delighted with the point. Later on, obviously, the scoring in in that 90th minute, there seemed to be a little bit of thinking that there may have been a foul in there as well. So does that add to their frustration? Do you think? Yeah, it does. I, I didn't see it. There were a lot of bodies around. They're they're complaining about that. The referee didn't see it, which is the most important thing. And uh, if that happens. You get on with it, and uh, you know, Slinny made a, a fine save to start with, and they were first to the rebound. Um, they uh, they didn't cut us open, but that, that was my concern that they'd force a goal. They were they got some big players up top against some flick ons. I mean, our line, our back four was was terrific again. The line that they held, we caught them offside numerous times, but. Uh, just didn't fall for us. Well, it fell for them right at the end, which was, uh, you know, that can happen. But uh, again, and lads have worked there. And, uh, they've worked hard, really hard. And unfortunate, whether we deserve to win the game is debatable. Mm -hmm. uh, but listen, I'm, as I say, I'm pleased with the point. Let's just take it back to the beginning of the game and some really determined play from left back for Molly down that left and then putting in. Just when it looked like you worry, you got, can he stay calm enough? He just does so, and then picks out Jake for for a simple side foot finish. And then, you know, it's a long time being one nil up, though, isn't it? You yeah. always know that one nil is never a safe score like. Never, no. <laughs> but I thought we could get a second. I thought the two uh, front players, particularly in the first half, looked very dangerous. We've got that uh, pace, and we counter attack well. Uh, and I thought. The longer the game went on, they were desperate to get the equaliser. They might just leave themselves short at the back. And that happened two or three times in the second half. Our, our, our last ball wasn't quite good enough. Um, but uh, no, the, the two front players again, as everybody did, put in a, a real good shift. Well, I started in this interview by asking you if you felt like it was a defeat. But I think the main thing to focus on, it's still unbeaten in five. So... Uh, you know, it's still progress, it's still moving upwards in the right direction. Yeah, it's another point, isn't it, towards safety. Uh, that was the, uh, that was what we wanted to do, get away from uh, the danger area. It's another point uh, that takes us away from that danger area. Um, so it's, 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 it's progress, it's, uh, it's slow progress, but it's progress. And, uh, listen we continue to take a point a game, we'll be fine. I, I'm not a point a game man, Chris, I can assure you that. No, you're greedy now, I would hope. I, I'm, <laughs> I want to I wanna win football matches. At the moment, our team isn't quite good enough to take take the game to our opponents, control games, um, and, and and attack as much as we'd like to do. So we're... we're, we're Proving hard to beat, hard to score against, and we've got that. Uh, we've got, still got that threat at the top end of the pitch. Well, as you say, it's another point, and we move on to uh, well, two more home matches now on Saturday. It's witness next Saturday. We do look forward to it. Good stuff, Neil. Thank you, Chris. No worries. Thank you very much.